News Channel 11 Sports with Jesse Crow. Welcome back. Well, they might be over 50 years apart, but 1969 and 2021 are starting to look awfully similar. Now, take out that technology and pop culture, and the ETSU football team is starting to shape up to be that 1969 Buccaneers team that went undefeated and beat Terry Bradshaw in that Rice Bowl. Now, the Johnson City squad are once again rewriting the history books today, but first, they honored this year's Hall of Fame class, and I can tell you one man who will be getting a call down the road. Quay Holmes. The back is one of the best in the nation and the best in the SOCON. He bowls his way in from a couple of yards out, and it looked as though the Johnson City team was going to run away with this one early, but Wofford was keeping this one close. Irvin Mulligan stumbles into the end zone. Bucks still led by three after that score, but Wofford started to get into a groove. Peyton Derrick surveys the field, finding Alec Holt. The sophomore catches it in stride, and the defense can't catch the Jacksonville native. Wofford leading 14 to 10 in the middle of the second. But I think we all know this. It's hard to contain this Buccaneers ground game, no matter who's carrying the rock. Jacob Saylor slices through the Terriers for the score. ETSU led by three, heading into the break, and this team needed to fight the rest of the way. Jumping to the fourth, and ETSU down one. Holmes rolls off for the screen pass. Now the back gets sprung loose by a couple of key blocks. So shout out to Tavon Matthews and Joe Schreiber. The big boys were moving downfield. That's really the only space Q would need, though, because this boy is taking it the rest of the way. Nearly 200 total yards for Holmes as the Bucks start 5-0 for the first time since, yes, you guessed it, 1969. I, I told our team last night, I told them free game. Uh, it was going to be a 60-minute fight. You, you don't go 23 years without beating somebody and beat them easily. You know it's going to be a fight. I told the guys there'd be times we would hit them in the nose and bloody their nose. There'd be times they would hit us in the nose and bloody our nose. The team that won was going to be the one that got up, just wiped it off, and got ready to play the next play and kept playing. 